woke up I have no makeup on and I haven't done my hair it's still in my ponytail but I wanted to say good morning and come in and sit by my daddy and have him say good morning <laughs> good morning he's gonna kill me I want to get the hell out of bed though <laughs> yeah he doesn't like laying around he's he's never been the type of person that lays around he needs to be doing something even after he had his heart attack. He was out hunting, golf, yes, and everything. Hunting, golfing. And even before that, our house was completely done, but he would knock out a wall. Just because he was bored. Oh, what? Knock out a wall be just because you were bored. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anything, just be, give me do something. Because I hate this just laying around. I can't take it. <laughs> He's going stir crazy. Good morning, everybody. I've got a couple of things I need to do today uh, before the weekend comes. I need to uh, visit the county social services, see what they can do for us, possibly get on food stamps. And I gotta drive into Riverside and um, try to cash out my um, stock certificate. All right, so I just uh, left the uh, county social services and didn't get anywhere, really. I got some paperwork for possibly food stamps. It looks like uh, that's all I'm going to be eligible for until I um, cash out this uh, stocks certificate because that's what's holding me up for everything because I have a very small amount of uh, uh, retirement and uh, that I can't I don't know if I can cash out or not and I have these stocks which are, are has a pretty good value um, so because of that I have too much equity so I'm not going to get any help from Medi-Cal or from social services somebody the other day said that I look a lot like my dad People used to call me Little Freddy, right? <laughs> yeah, people used to call me Little Freddy because I did look so much like my dad. And Kevin was putting in, when Kevin was putting in the cabinets in the kitchen, he was surprised that I knew how to, like, help him make them level and all of that stuff. And I used to go with you when you were doing stuff like that uh -huh. sometimes. And... He didn't realize that, well, he knew you did that, but he didn't realize that I, he didn't know I knew how to do all I, that. So, yeah. it was funny. Oh. It was funny. He wouldn't, He didn't want me to help him at first, and then when I jumped up and started helping him, he's like, how'd you know how to do that? It's like, uh, my dad used to do this for a living. Uh. <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys some of my mom and dad's doggies. This is Romeo. Hi, Romeo. Romeo likes to bark at everybody. Home, huh, Romeo. And Romeo normally does not like me. But he's being friendly to me right now. He must think I have food. All right, so my niece is convincing me to go for a walk in North Carolina. It is humid as heck. And I'm gonna walk in this? Thank God I didn't shower first. I'm gonna shower when I get back. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, and then you're gonna need another one. No, later when I go jogging. Are you jogging this? At like eight, when it starts cooling down. You mean it cools down? Somewhat. So like 70s. You're nuts. You're nuts. 
So I'll vlog a little bit of us walking so you guys can see this beautiful neighborhood that my family lives in. Check out this beautiful birdhouse my parents have on their front porch. And Crystal just told me that there was a family of birds that were living in there. I just saw the mom said that earlier. Oh, today? Yeah. So they may still be living in there. Yeah. The mom was just in there. It's really pretty. Beautiful pink tree. Well, pink flowers on that tree. <laughs> Lots of basketball courts, or hoops, nets, whatever you want to call them, right in front of people's houses. More flags. More flags. Trailers over there. And those trees over there. Uh-huh. That's, that's, uh, where Crystal's boyfriend lives. Yes, 16 years old and has a boyfriend. <laughs> oh, look at that puppy! Oh, he's so cute! because you're nice and loud. Yes, yes, you're nice and loud. I'll, I'll have to get a uh, certificate saying you're my, my guide dog or something so you could go on the plane with me. That's a really sad story. You got more to say? Hey guys, I wanted to come on and say a quick thank you to Sylvia Phillips Master Yoda and Anonymous for their generous donations to our GoFundMe account. We truly do appreciate everything you guys do for us and we wouldn't be here if it weren't for all of you. So thank you very much guys. We love you. So these are some of my mother's dogs. Here's Angel! Right, this is Angel? Yeah. This is Angel. This is Angel! Hello, Angel! Here's Peanut! Hello, Peanut! Romeo! Peanut! There's Peanut! There's Peanut! There's Romeo! 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 And here's Angel! She's the only skinny one around here. Well, out of the animals, anyway. <laughs> Romeo! Romeo! And there's Tasha! Say hi, Mom. You're on camera, too. Hi. Hi. And there's Tasha. The old lady of the bunch. She's the old lady of the bunch. Hey, Romeo's fat, too. So my GPS doesn't seem to know where um, this address is. I put in 355 Vine Street in Riverside, and it gave me a Vine Street in Riverside, Pennsylvania. So I put in the... So the uh, zip code and it managed to find a Vine Street but it wouldn't look for 355 so I'm assuming there isn't a 355 Vine Street so it's got me going around in circles and now it has me parked in front of a train so, hey and it's finally done So I just left Merrill Lynch and that was kind of a joke. Um, they, I'm surprised I had anybody actually speak to me from there because uh, they don't want to cash out my stocks in that office uh, because I, they said I have to open an account first. And the uh, minimum um, uh, starting account balance is $250,000. And if I had that much money, I wouldn't even be there. So. Yeah, so they gave me a phone number. They said um, that I have an account from my old company. And the last thing I want to do is talk to anybody at my old company. So, 
I'll start with the phone number and see where I go from there. Well, everybody, it looks like um, things are getting real. We have the date for my dad's surgery. He checks into the hospital on the 29th, and his surgery is on the 30th. <sighs> kind of a little um, taken back. Yeah, we knew it was coming, but it's still kind of scary. Um, my mom is not doing too well. She hurt herself when she got up um, a little while ago. She has a torn rotator cuff in her shoulder, and uh, she Just twisted, twisted it arm. when she got up. So she's kind of in a little bit of a pain right now, and uh, she was cooking dinner, so I'm taking over cooking. Yay! So, um, we'll keep everybody updated, and my dad's napping a lot right now, um, so maybe a little bit later today I can try and get him filmed um, for tomorrow's vlog. So, um, we'll see what we can do. Hello, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the little bit of time that we spent together today, and whatever time you spent with Kevin, I'm not exactly sure, what he does over there while I'm over here. But if you did, please give this video a great big thumbs up so I don't melt. <laughs> and hit that little red subscribe button down below if you haven't already and follow along with us and share this video with your family and friends because we have some exciting stuff going on and uh, maybe they'd like to be part of it too. Catch y'all later.